So, I was once told that in order to make a great video, to get all the views, you have to talk like you're cool, make up lies, wear your sunglasses, maybe a hat. That's how you do it. Just kidding, guys. Hey, man, for real. I got a question for y'all. And we're going to get down to it right after this intro. All right, so what is this question I want to ask you might be thinking? So my question is, when somebody gives a review on some equipment, some gear, something that you're interested in, do you prefer if that person purchases said item with their own money or if a company reaches out to them and asks them if they would like to do a review <clears throat> without money coming out of their pocket? So the reason why I ask this is I've been going back and forth with it. I was recently uh, messaged by a company on Instagram. And yes, I know, <laughs> watch out for the social media DMs for people reaching out to you. But it's a legit company. Uh, it was about a month and a half ago. And I looked them up and I did some research and uh, saw some other, uh, I wouldn't say influencers, but other people in the art community that had done some reviews on their products. So it got me thinking, I watch a lot of YouTube and a lot of different channels, way less than I used to because they're just dirty liars and ain't got time for that shit. But, uh, so I like reviews if it's something that interests me. And I know a lot of times people will say like, hey, I bought this with my own money. Does that make it any more fair, do you think? Do you think people put their true thoughts into something if they spend their money or if a company reached out to them and asked them to, hey, would you like to do a review on our product? To me, I don't really go either way. I mean, you never know when somebody's telling you the truth, even when they spend their own money. I mean, I've seen people do reviews on long-term reviews 30 days after owning something. But that's besides the point. Anyway, let's get back on topic here. So, I've uh, been gone for a little while dealing with issues and uh, your mom. And I redid my studio again, trying to get it to where I want it. I needed uh, some better exhausting and just feel more cozy. And uh, now that I think that I've gotten myself in the right space, this end of this year, I'm going to try being, do, try being, I am going to do more custom work and try to get more stuff involved for the 2024 year. So hopefully, and I've said it in the past, I'll put out some more videos and more content and hopefully that is the case. But back on topic, when we're talking about gear review, whether it's clothing, whether it's uh, tools, whether it's gloves, or, or something that per pertains to your hobby or your passions, does it really matter if the person doing the review spent their own money on it or if a company reached out and said, hey, we really like your content. We really like what you do for the community. Would, would you be up for trying one of our products and doing a review on it? Whether it's a written review in a magazine, whether it's something like this where it's a vlog or a post on social media. What is your thoughts on it, guys? Just, uh, you know, I'll leave me a comment down here and uh, let me know what you feel. For the millions of all three of you that watch this, I'd like to hear from you. 
until next time, rock on.